Now, is it only me? But you know, um, once I find like a good song, I will only play that song like, for the rest of the day. Wait, what do you mean? Is that like a disease or something? Because it's like <laughs> this guy says disease. It's no, no, a no, disease, no. man. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> a disease is is biological, dog. <laughs> no, because fam, I don't know why so many people make fun of me, but it's like, say I have one song that I just found out. W when I'm in the car with friends, I'll, I'll go through songs. Once they're out of my car and I'm on the drive back, that's the only song that's playing in the car. What the like fuck? on repeat? And people say that's, that's weird. That's bad though, because then no. you kill the song ASAP. I know, but it's so good that I want to keep listening to it until it dies. Ah, uh, you don't know. You're, 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 you're getting the the dad vibe. You, the, so mm -hmm. there's this thing that dads do. Yeah, everybody can agree with me. Dads all do this everywhere. They like something, uh -huh. then they keep doing it and make the fa the whole family do it until it's it gets old. So, for example, my dad. Okay, he got into crepes. Crepes. So, you know, like crepes dessert, mm. bro. We had it for dinner one time, not for dinner, but like as a dessert after dinner. Yeah. We had it one night. It's like, wow, this is great. Mm. We had it every single day for like two weeks, bro. Until Holy. I was sick of that shit. Now, to be honest, that's the same with like spaghetti. You know, when your mom cooks spaghetti and then you have it for the rest of the no, week. No, that's different. So much. No, yes, that's different. Is. Crepe is different because you it's go so out of your way to buy more ice cream. Yeah, you know, I got you, I got you. <laughs> spaghetti, you just have a health. You have a, a lot of it. Yeah. Or barbecue too. Once you have barbecue that whole week, you're just eating straight barbecue. It's oh, the like the, thing. the Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's it? What's your opinion on like, um, you know, the Filipino jams where everybody takes like food home. So hear me out right? yeah i remember we had a party before mm. and i was like damn we're gonna have lots of leftovers yeah that's what i thought of course so Nothing check left. this out what happens everybody gets their tupperwares blah mm. blah all the food is gone yeah do you think it's common courtesy to leave some for the host yes of course but because you're not thinking that at you're the not time, you're not huh? you know why like that's i've seen that start beefs mm. in 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 like the the cousin realm you know why? <laughs> the cousin it's because it's because some person like I know right when the part like maybe an hour before the party ends, mm. they're already Tupperware ready. Nah, all the see, food, listen, listen, listen. When they're prepped, putting all the food ready, like taking everything as possible, and uh, and the guests have to be so ready for them just because mm. they know if the part at, at the end of the party there's nothing left. Mm. Like you have to be two hours before like. Putting shit aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they about to, they greedy as hell and so, they about to think. So check it out. It's only, it's only bad if they're prepped. So, uh, or is it, is it? I don't think it's just a prep, but like a super early. You don't do that shit super early. Okay, I like, agree. You I know? Agree. Uh, I, but the way Filipinos are, we just, we just give, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's all love. It's all love at the end of the day. <laughs> but with well, the same as like, um, go dealing with a girl for the first time. What do you mean? So hear me out. Okay. Imagine it's your first time. Mm. First time for something, like high school. Yeah. And, she wants to get into it, mm. but you're prepped. Like you have a thing with you. Oh, is that a red flag? Low key, it is because you're prepped. No, nah, you're not. You're just taking precautions, fam. No, if it is, <laughs> that's all. No, put it, yeah. Now put it in her shoes, fam. Put it in her shoes. <laughs> so like, oh, why do you have that? You get me? No, nah, you get me, bro. It's like it's like um, it's like I go with the, with my homie yeah. that I know is like kind of violent. Oh my god. And then you have a strap because we think we're going to fight. Like, why'd you bring that? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? All of a sudden we're fighting. Nah. Why'd you bring that? <laughs> you know? It's like you're prepped. My friend my friend told me the story when he went to a girl's dorm. Mm -hmm. And then in the girl's dorms, they share a condom drawer. And Ew. as soon as, soon as they, they like, um, uh, he saw that, he walked out. He's like, nah, you definitely have 150 bodies or some shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you have, Yo, that's you have way more than a hundred bodies, my guy. That's fun. That's yeah, fun. condom drawer is crazy though. The craziest thing I seen. Shout out Paul Cantu. He used to do like the thrift videos. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy. Old. This guy had a dispenser. <laughs> of what condoms? Nah, that's insane. this guy had a dispenser on some like bubble gum. Yeah. Shout out John too. John has a bubble gum machine in his house, bro. <laughs> That's how you know you're rich. No, it's, <laughs> not, no, it's worse. It's worse. It's not even a bubble gum machine. Uh -huh. it's, it's the one with the, the fruit hard candies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the circles? Yo, yo. And you know what? I don't know why anybody ever ate these. You yeah. know those like um it's not even it's not even like a proper shape. I don't know. It's like pink and blue hard candy you get in those oh, oh, you know like talking like like about the ridges, the ridges. Yeah, those are so ass. Who the fuck ever bought those, bro? <laughs> no, I wonder how much candy goes to waste at Bulk Barn. Like you know there's some candies that no one touches. 
Like, where does that go? That probably just... <clears throat> Hot take, they probably just reuse that shit, yeah. fam. And I think in um it's either Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme. Mm. At the end of the day, they throw out whatever whatever donuts they don't use anymore. Yeah. And it's so fun. They have to do that though. Yeah. Yo, so Funko Pop, mm. actually. Did you know this? Funko Pop, they get rid of almost half their inventory when it doesn't get sold. Oh, Why? Shit. Because they overproduce it. And if they actually gave it away at discount or flood Walmart with it, yeah. what would happen? Because there's a large surplus of it, the value of all the other Funko Pops would decrease. Mm. So they literally just have to go destroy it, like put in a landfill. Oh. And somewhere out there in the States, there's like a huge landfill, just Funko Pops. Yeah. So I, I was going to say, what if they just threw it away in the garbages? If you just dumpster dive, you could have a bunch of Funko Pops. Yeah, you Pops. could probably find a hella. That's fucked. And... I'm pretty sure they do the same thing with um just clothes too. Oh, for real? Because if they give out if they give out the clothes, then what happens? Like yeah. if if we if you're Balenciaga mm. and then you give out free Balenciaga to the homeless or whatever, yeah, you kind of low key decrease your, yeah. your brand, right? That's, that's true. It's kind of off off topic. I seen some like crazy North Korean law yeah. that that existed. So take in if your house starts burning down mm -hmm. and you ha you have to save the picture of Kim Jong Un before you save your family and yourself. Yeah, that's I true. I didn't know that too. That's and when true. and when you vote, if you don't vote, you'll get executed, right? Mm -hmm. But if you do vote, there's either an option of Kim Jong Un or uh death. So you have to choose yeah, Kim one. Jong Un. <laughs> Wait, what is the vote for then? Is De it death and Kim Jong Un? Fam. The and the last one, the last one is um, uh, what do you call this? If you fall asleep during a Kim Jong Un speech, you won't even wake up because they'll <laughs> kill you. <laughs> you won't wake because they'll kill That's you. One, it's though. it's illegal to fall asleep while he's talking. That'd be a funny ass take. Somebody should make that a TikTok. <laughs> Falling asleep at a Kim Jong Un speech. And it's just black. It's just black. <laughs> oh no! You wake you when you wake up. You wake up in heaven. <laughs> oh shit! You hear juice world in the back. Yo, that that will bang. Yo. We just gave you guys a viral TikTok idea. Yeah, that's viral. That's viral. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Yo, whatever happened to all those viners? You know, mm. like Melvin Gregg and all them. I like hope. King King Bat King Batch is still making content, right? Yeah, he's still making content. I remember the the white boy that does the the really corny content. I forget, but he's still doing it in Instagram Shorts form. Oh, word! Yeah, because I would imagine the Vine kind of wave. It's still around because yeah. short form content, mm -hmm. but it's just weird that we don't see it like the skit. You remember uh, D Storm or whatever his name was? What's D Storm? They they Storm. Oh, the, with the, the Jays. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. yeah. How come? They should be thriving right now, no? Because uh, it's be short honest. content. But that was ten years ago. That was ten you have years to really ago. Bag That's it. true. You know what, fam? You think um Chad GPT would take over influencers too? Like, imagine you put in in Chad GPT, you put uh, what is the next viral Instagram trend? And in uh, Chad GPT is so smart enough that they will give you Vine and video ideas. Mm. You think that's possible? I think so. Yeah. There's already. Did you know there's literally ai influencers already no i haven't heard there that. is there's ai influencers there's a i forgot there's this guy mm. he's just computer generated and no there's even girls too yeah. that show up on like vr what and the then they fuck? they're just a uh, ai personality and people mm. like love them yeah. they watch their streams and shit this is real yeah and it goes back to even before any of the streaming any of like social media being an influencer happened mm. There was even AI, you know what a Vocaloid is? No, what is that? So a Vocaloid is a computer generated voice. Okay. And they used to have these in Japan, a whole concert, a whole artist that's just computer generated. Wow. And people bought tickets? Yeah. And it's just like an anime girl, like <coughs> anime girl, like singing. What the fuck? Yeah. And people oh, pay no, money I, for no, On Twitch, there is something like that. It's called a, ah, is it called an e-streamer? That's called, what it is. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about. It's like uh, just fully generated automation. And Every, yeah, everything yeah. is just freaking. But like the girl has big titties, so people watch. But you know what's crazy? Because mm. I can imagine, let's say you're watching an anime like Naruto. Okay. And then it becomes meta. What you mean? That they are live with you. So just uh -huh. as they're going through their story, oh, let's say no. you're watching Naruto Shippuden. Yeah. And then like they're going through their story, but it's it's meta, like they're still relevant to whatever is happening outside of it, and it also affects the story. Imagine, uh, what do you call it? The the main characters can like read chat. So yeah, like, like exactly. they're in battle. They're in battle, and then like they he turns to the camera. He's like, 
oh, I know you said shit about that. Or like, yeah, you, you didn't think I could do this? <laughs> Yo, check this out. Check this out. Yeah. I don't think we're too far away from. Holy shit. Yeah, I think not. I just predicted a whole new Low key. set of content. Live animes. Live animes. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the, we, we have to blur this whole thing out. Yo, that's going to be real. No, that's mm. that's 100% going to be real. Because yeah. if you take it in, live streaming is already a big thing. Facts. Uh, um influencer to to watch your interaction is going to be huge yeah. right now storylines will always be relevant mm -hmm. the only thing that's missing is putting those two together and you can see a little bit with with skits and you know just like live streams that are kind of planned yeah but taking the next step further with a whole story that's Oh, and then no. improv in between because the the audience yo that's yeah. crazy i yeah. bet you can do that if you literally just go on chat gpt can you make me a live anime that's crazy i'm telling you because i think um chat gpt4 just yeah. dropped and they're saying that that's the the smartest ai that the world has ever seen like the scientists and shit i know but what's fucked there's gonna be chat gpt5 tomorrow I you know, know what i mean like I know. the fact so this is how it is because they made chat gpt the world changed forever it's done mm -hmm. world changed forever because look chat gpt was made chat gb4 was created the next one is is probably gonna be created in an hour yeah yeah this shit will be faster and faster and faster we're gonna evolve in seconds eventually yeah like if we if we transport a hundred years into the future fam everything will probably be a blur like it will update within a millisecond facts facts and it's already taking over jobs i think uh the, the newest one uh it was proved that it can do people's taxes so say the accountants goodbye mm. and it, it uh what do you call this it can write people uh like actual uh court cases and like what do you what do you write when you um when you deliver a court case fuck i forgot the oh word. uh like a to sue someone yeah, to sue someone they can actually write court files and stuff like that and give to it serve, out. to yeah, serve to serve yeah and that's crazy because there goes judges oh, so people are, are in law school for four eight years boom all we need to do, chat GPT-4. <laughs> so Yo. imagine chat GPT-5, there goes nurses. Chat GPT-6, there goes school. <laughs> Yo. Yo, wait, I just had a crazy idea. Yeah. So check this out. What if mm. they make almost like an AI-generated speaker for your pet? Speaker for check this out. You remember an up, the oh, dog collar, the dog. and then the dog can speak. But imagine, because maybe they can translate exactly what a dog is thinking maybe they can't mm, yeah. but even if they can't what if they just make an ai generator to actually speak and kind of kind of be able to translate somehow but give you dialogue and make you just feel like you have somebody there with you yeah no if, if dogs are already like the, the remember the buttons like bitch bitch yeah bro am I, uh, do you think that's already a thing though i feel like that is like the dog color that talks or that shit was just in a movie yo yo <laughs> Even crazier take, uh, what if, what if people start getting hired to become the dogs? So what? I put, I put one of those crazy collars on my, on my dog yeah. and somebody is behind the computer talking to me back. What? So like my dog is alive. Like my dog can communicate with me. Wait, but the dog would still be, um, wait, wait, No, wait, check wait. this out. Check this out. So <laughs> it's like, it's like play pretend. So okay. let's say I'm a lonely, lonely person. Mm -hmm. And I need companionship and I have a dog and I want my dog to talk to me like a human. Okay. You put like a collar around his neck, but the speaker coming out and what it sees is somebody else on the computer that is paid to be ew, your dog. Ew. And then like communicate. I want to do this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I bet you that's going to be a thing in the future, bro. So, so you just want a talking person. So that's just a, that's no, just a therapist. No, but it's different because you don't. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna you're gonna pay someone for companionship. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't want to pay for a human as a companion. No, that's kind of weird. I guess, I guess, I guess. Like we don't go out and buy humans for a companion. We buy pets. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like you know if you're buying it, you know it's still a human talking to you. No, but it, you lose that. You lose that like sense of it. Do you? Yeah, because so is the dog gonna be talking? Human it's like or a simulation. Barking? Is it's he like, gonna be barking? No, it's gonna be talking like a human. <laughs> no, that's weird. So man. my dog is walking around like, yo, what are you saying, man? <laughs> no, I think where's my food at, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is my food? <laughs> no, I think I think you used all your creative ideas on the live anime one. This one is kind of crazy. No, that's crazy though. <laughs> yeah, I could I could see that actually happening. Word. I could actually see that happening, even if they couldn't translate what a dog is really saying. Really saying? The other alternative to that is <laughs> getting somebody to like. <laughs> 
fake translate it for you <laughs> or at least play the dog you know what i mean Look, <laughs> create no. new jobs bro that's good for the economy a lie no but you know panda buy you know what panda buy is yeah. like the the replica shout out chain yeah <laughs> no, the, the, the replica clothes store so yeah. right now what's really trending on there is um everyone's trying to buy the replica dog so i what? don't so what do you mean replica replica dog so i don't know if it's a real dog or a fake dog yeah but on the thing it's it's like a you know how clothes they take pic product pictures of the clothing. Yeah, they're taking product pictures of a dog, fam. And I don't know, but one guy bought it on TikTok, mm -hmm. and uh, he's trying to get a ship. It's like two hundred dollars to get a ship. <laughs> so we don't know if this is actually a dog or like a replica, like a stuffed animal. Like we don't know what oh, this is. Oh, so it's oh yeah. Shit. So it's like the dark web. They're selling animals on there too. That's kind of crazy. It's probably just like a replica dog. You it's never know, because the dog is one cent. So imagine you could buy a dog for one cent. What the fuck? Is it actually? Yeah, I don't know. There, there hasn't been an update. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of dogs. Yeah, look. Oh, fuck. Maybe they're trying to get rid of dogs. No, because I know, I know there's um, there's like saviors, like what dog mean? saviors that go to these camps that are in China. And mm. you know the ones that they cook? Yeah. So they go there and then save them. And then they put them in this big facility and they're like the rescue dogs. Mm -hmm. And there's a TikTok account I scrolled past one time. Yeah. And he was pretty much saying, oh, if you guys don't want any of these dogs, they're free. Just, just you know what I mean? Like, I'll send them over to you. Word. Yeah. Because those are the dogs that survive yeah. being eaten. That's yeah. a sick job, though. What do you think about... <clears throat> what do you... Okay, listen. What do you think about, like, other animals? Because we eat other animals, but we don't really care. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Oh, man. It was so fucked because... <laughs> Because I keep seeing these things on, like, uh, you know, the vegetarians, they stay outside yeah. uh, of, like, the KFCs and stuff like that. And I see some boy who just came up. He's, like, he started, started eating the bucket of chicken right in front of them. It's, like, <laughs> oh, you feel good about that? And boy's, like, yeah, this shit's fucking amazing. I'm, like, oh, my God. Like, at that point, it's, like, yeah, it's disrespectful, but you shouldn't go out your way to to make fun of what they believe in. Mm. That's kind of like religion. Mm, you know? I agree, I agree. Like, you can just go about your day. You don't have to bother them. Let them do their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat meat, I eat meat. I'm not going to bother. A lie, yeah, I agree, with, I agree with you. Yeah. But what do you think, like, there's there's a certain point where, okay, these animals we like, these animals we don't. But why? Is it because they're dangerous? Because, like, they're not as cuddly? The stuff they give us when the, if we get bit by them. Y you know that... There's a meme that's going on in TikTok. It's like, uh, why bear not friend if bear friend shaped? <laughs> you know what? that? You know that meme? What does that mean? So, a bear, right? If you see it, yeah, it's shaped like a cuddly friend. Oh, okay, okay. It's shaped like a friend, mm. but it's definitely not a friend because that shit will eat you. Yeah. Right. Same with like a fox. Like they look cuddly and fun, true, but true, true. they're not friends. Yeah. Have you seen cocaine bear? So ass. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that shit but fucking, it's. I guess it's a bear on cocaine and. It, that shit is not friendly. Like, it goes around the whole town chasing a person. Just locked into one person. <laughs> Whenever I see, like, movies like that, I start to think, okay, they're running out of shit. They're, they're literally... Like but they have to... They have to revamp everything, you know? Fam, indie movies have better plot lines than that. Like, you can give anyone fucking... Uh, cocaine and they will go crazy like why give it to mm. a bear you know what a, um by the way uh you know what a meth banshee is no what is that so it's so it's like so there was a story that i seen where um these people's houses got like raided and broken down right mm -hmm. by this mesh banshee so this is what happened so it's one like, couple yeah. one couple came back to their the glass on their house is all broken the lotion, there's lotion on their door handles. <laughs> the, the, the soles on their shoes are ripped out. Yeah. And there's, and there was like buckets of paint dumped on their bathroom. So they're like, what the fuck is this? Right? So they call the cops. The cops come, they investigate what it was. They're like, even though there was an obvious break in, there's no signs of that person still in their house. So they dip, right? Mm -hmm. They go back to sleep. They kind of repair the house and they go to sleep, right? Yeah, yeah. What they hear under their bed is like a little, like a, a child screaming or like sc screeching. You know what that sounds like? Yeah. Like, a, like a, you know, like one of those. <laughs> so they're like, oh, nah. So they call back the cops. They say, all right, we need that. We need to investigate again. Mm -hmm. And what they find under the bed fam is a like a 90 pound woman oh, who has an axe in her hand and a meth needle. Oh, she's just been living there the whole time. Yeah, and the cop said when, when they arrested her, she was try she was digging a hole into your bed. And if you did if you didn't hear that noise earlier, she would have got to you. Oh shit! And she was high on meth the whole time. Oh shit! And imagine 
She took down like three houses and ended up in that one's bed. Wait, so she, did she murder other people? Or uh, no, no, she just ran in, uh, did uh, damages, and yeah. went out. Oh. She was so high. You feel me? You can't. You can't control yourself. What if that's like the next evolution, fam? <laughs> Hella drugs. Just, <laughs> man's on hella drugs, bro. You think about it? Because I heard things. I heard things, mm. right? And I, I bet you police officers have, have their take on it, too. Yeah. People on certain drugs, like, they're invincible. Yeah. Like, I, I heard. And I think I've seen videos, too. Mm -hmm. Man took, like, eight shots. <sighs> Lil TJ. Bro, still standing. Bro, still coming at you like this. Yeah. Full zombie. Is it is it um, something in your bloodstream that tells you to keep going or just numbs you to the pain? I think it's your brain that just like oh because the receptors are, are blocked off right yeah so now it's not your your brain fighting it's just your soul like not yeah 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 out. and then and then the only thing that really stops them is the battery like yeah. drained out oh my gosh that's insane that's like that's like um that's like unplugging the xbox without <laughs> turning it off and shit like you just unplug it nah, I'd be like it's still running man. oh my god <laughs> oh have you ever done that with ps2 <laughs> no oh okay if, if you guys had a ps2 i remember this is a big fuck up if you ever do uh -huh. so if you have the game in, right? Yeah. And then you press the eject button, the the disc will come out, but you can still play the game a little bit. Word. Yeah, you can play the game for like 10 seconds what? with the disc out of the PS2. Huh? Yeah. Why is that? How is that possible? If you want to get technical. Yeah, yeah. It's, technical. It's the it's the um, the memory. Mm. So it kind of downloads it onto the onto the drive and it reads it. So you're still able to play for like a minute or two. Yeah. No, no, what I what I always got was when your phone dies mm -hmm. and you hit you hold the button. It, the Apple logo, f I mean, the a screen comes up with the battery on it that says it's low and you need to charge. How does mm. it have enough battery to do that if it's already dead? That's mm. what I never got. No, but it's not fully dead. Yeah. It has has a bit of juice. See, that's the thing. But okay, yeah. Mandela effect. Uh -huh. Did you ever, do you had an iPod touch? You ever had that? Yeah, of course. Everyone had an iPod touch. Do you remember like the old Apple logo? The, the Was there an Apple logo with like a slice in it? No. Nah, chill, chill. Why, there, there was, was right. There had to be. No, I don't know if this is Mandela effect or I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> what do you mean, slice? No, no. There's like a line cut through the Apple logo uh -huh. on the iPod Touch logo. Never in my. So life. you know how when you when you log in and then turn you, you restart your phone, you yeah. restart your iPhone and it shows the Apple logo, right? Uh huh. I remember having iPod Touch and I restart it. And it has the Apple logo, but there's like a slice in between it. Nah, you're gaslighting. This has to be gaslighting. I swear yeah. to God, I'm not gaslighting. Are you dead ass? I'm dead ass. I don't think this is Mandela. I think, I think like that's nah, real. You're weird. I think you're from a different. I just don't. I just bro. haven't seen it in a long time. Let right. me know in the comments. Like the comments should know. But yeah, back back to the back to the homeless people. Like I'd be dead terrified of homeless people because one time I was walking down with a uh, Jarlene. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I was so scared. This guy, like, uh, it was right under the bridge, mm -hmm. and this guy um was throw chucking rocks, like full on rocks. And cars are literally right beside at, it. At the cars? No, they were. He was chucking it up, like he was throwing. Why? For out what? Because he was bored, bro. Homeless people got nothing to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to do except throw rocks. <laughs> so my ass love. I don't know what it's about me, but I love just looking, like investigating. Mm -hmm. And I and I and as soon as I pink, I make eye contact with bro. You know what he says to me? Oh my god! What do you say? What do you say? I shit my pants when he said it. He's like, he threw a rock. He's like. Yo, you're happy that wasn't you under here, right? Or some <laughs> shit like that. And I was like, I was you're like, gonna go beef with the buck. I was like, I was like, chill, bro, chill, bro. <laughs> and it was a stop. It was a red light. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, fuck, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> and I tried to be like the man. So and 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 she was standing right here. So I'm like, nah, just come here real quick. But I'm still shitting my pants. <laughs> like I'm closer to him now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Uh -huh. I had a conversation with the buck teeth for the first time in my life. What? A couple months ago. And what happened? It was interesting. Uh -huh. It was an experience. I'm not going to lie. Uh -huh. So I was at the gold station mm. and I was just waiting for the train. Right. Okay. And this guy comes up to me. He's like, oh, is, is, this, is this the this is the train to the to Union, right? <laughs> like, yeah, it's, this is train to Union. Like, oh, OK, OK. Yeah. And he just he just posted up beside me and he starts asking me questions. I, I, I forgot what he said, but he, we came on to the point of like talking about women. Like, all right. Oh. Like we're talking about women. It and he goes crazy. Like and that. he goes, <clears throat> you know why people turn gay these days? Oh, no. And he said. Because women, <laughs> he's like, he's like, because women cause too much trouble for me. Uh, <laughs> I might as well be gay. See, what yo, bro? Wait, why do you come across like the the cool, like the funny? You feel me? I swear to God. Okay, I want to put some context to this homeless guy. Yeah, he was literally like Lil Uzi. What the hell? Same height. He looked like Lil Uzi too. Mm. Same mannerisms. He might as well have been old Uzi. <laughs> I swear to God, he might have been 
old Uzi, bro. Like but he was, was funny as fuck. And he was just saying like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He was just saying some random shit, but he, he was stuck on that point of like, should I just turn gay? <laughs> like, oh these women are true troublesome. <laughs> this guy's like, this, guy's, <laughs> this, this girl's causing me too much trouble. Should I just turn gay, bro? <laughs> oh, bro. Do you, fam. Yeah. I was just like, do you, bro. Listen to your heart. See that those people like I would love to have a conversation with just because they're funny. But man's like I remember um I told you this too. There was a construction worker mm -hmm. who was wearing um already a red flag. He was wearing a, a Billy Eilish beanie. Right, that's not a so red no, flag. It is, it is, because no. Oh, maybe what, in twenty twenty three. What kind of construction worker, like big chunky guy, wears a, a fucking Billy Eilish thing, right? So we kind of look at each other, mm -hmm. and I'm wearing my hairband, and he said, "Oh, yo, nice hairband. Like, where'd you get it? We're just having a normal convo, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, shit goes on, shit goes on. I sit down." Bro sits right next to me and starts just asking me random questions. Yo, you know this singer, Billie Eilish? Blah, blah, you listener? Oh, what's your favorite song? Shit like that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just answer this guy's questions. He doesn't seem like too crazy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I ask him, I'm like, yo, where are you going? He's like, oh, I'm going uh, northbound. I said, bro, this is the southbound train. You know what he says, bro? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, yeah, I know. I just wanted to talk with you because you're handsome. <laughs> Bro, bro, I look at this guy like, bro, please get away from me, fam. <laughs> like, like it all made he sense. He followed, he followed you home. Like it all made sense to me That's because it was crazy, like, bro, bro's bro. wearing a Billy Eilish thing, bro. Come on, man. That's crazy. He followed yeah. you home. He damn near almost followed me home, and I was like, yo, where are you going, fam? Like, please, like. And then I, I just he took the next exit out. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, man. Toronto was a fever dream. Please, I don't swing that way, bro. Please. <laughs> You know what though, bro? I feel like for for us, we're kind of we're kind of scared of the obscurity, right? Yeah. Okay, that's crazy though. Like, if someone said that to you, you'd probably punch them in the face. Man. <laughs> so let's no, be wait, real. hear me out. Let's just just hear me out for a sec. Okay. Listen, we're scared of the obscurity. Mm. I mean, there, there's a <laughs> yeah, there's, there's like there's like certain certain levels to the shit, but you can find a middle ground and somewhere in between. They can have experiences or takes on th on things that will change your whole mindset. Mm. And we don't realize that sometimes. One of the craziest things I realized was like, if you were in their shoes exactly, even just for a second, even for like five minutes, mm -hmm. how, how would you change as yourself if you went back to your body? Even just for like five minutes, whether it even just be, listen, because what's crazy, some of us don't even realize if I go into your body yeah. and you go into my body, would you start to feel pain that you're not used to because you're in my body? Because maybe I have pain in my back. Maybe I have pain in my toe or like, mm. and it feels weird, but we're used to it. Because you know how some people, they have, they have scoliosis or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're used to pain and it doesn't feel nothing to them. Gotcha. I can only imagine how fucked up you'd feel if you were in David Goggins' body. Oh. This guy has no cartilage. Mm. Now, to be honest, if I was in your body... And uh, I wasn't used to like the anxiety stuff. Mm. I would be like, yo, what the hell is this? Yeah. When it's, I start it's, feeling your emotions or no, am I still Gavin? Just physical. Are you talking physical or emotional I think, too? No, I think, I think you're still you, I'm still but you you feel what's my body like or like my okay. viewpoints so I feel, and shit. I feel like the muscles and shit like, cause I, I, I'm pretty, you feel me skinny. So if I go to the gym and I'm like, oh yeah, mm. do this, I would feel the. You power. probably would. You probably yeah, would. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just interesting, right? Yeah. Nah, fam. Would you, would you want a Freaky Friday? Anyone like switch into the body, but physical plus emotional too? <sighs> like, who would you Freaky Friday with? I think I answered this before with somebody, but I mm -hmm. think um, it has to be like a monk or some shit. I just want to really? see. Yeah, I just want to see like how zen their mind is. Yeah. Oh, bro, check this out. So I saw this TikTok, right? Uh -huh. And. It was like my mind before I take, I think it's magnesium glycitrate or whatever, oh, no. but it's exactly how I feel at nighttime. Yeah. So I don't know if you feel this way too. And maybe I'm just like, yeah, yeah. but sometimes I, I, I feel like a lot of people are talking like it's loud in my head. What? No, that's some Harley Quinn. <laughs> no, that's no, it's, it's not. Shit. It's not even, no, nah, it's not like I hear people talking, but it's like, it's just loud. It's loud in my head with my own voice, you know? But it's like noise. It's just noise. So I saw this TikTok, right? Uh -huh. And this guy, like, he had noise on his head. And he, t he, popped, he popped, like, the magnesium. And then, like, it just quieted down. I feel like even though it's quiet down, you would go crazy from that. Because you're so used to the voices. Okay. What if, what if you lost the voice in your head? How would you feel? Fucking empty, fam. Because who, who am I talking to now? Check this out. Ready? Ready? Yeah. I'm going to blow your mind, fam. Mm. Just like how we said, if you were in my body, just yeah. how we, you were in my body and you would feel different. If... 
you heard your voice, how I hear my voice in my head, how different would it be? Because what if my volume and gain is on a different level? Your volume is on a different level? Because listen, bro. Like when I sleep, the I only hear like my voice is hella like to the max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because what if what if our voices in our head don't actually sound like our voices outside yeah. to each other? A lie? Holy shit. Yeah, because you are hella loud. So I imagine what So in my head, head, I feel like it's quiet. Maybe it's quieter. Maybe yeah. I'm, I don't know I'm loud. Facts. No, you are a loud person. So that makes sense. Imagine my voices are always whispering. And you would be, would you be weirded out by that? Like, yo, why are you guys whispering? Yeah, like in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> turn that shit up. <laughs> No, I guess fucking side note, we did a panel at the Filipino, like, uh, Ryerson thing. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as Carlos picked up the mic, bro, ha- like, compared, like, the gain levels <laughs> to, to everyone else, fam, everyone, who, who's that? Locked in. <laughs> like, holy shit, there's no monotone in his voice. He's, he's like, loud as hell. <laughs> but that's, that's normal volume to him. That, that is normal volume to me. So I imagine, like, if, like, a spirit even tries to take you over some such shit like that, mm-hmm. like, they would get, uh... Like uh, intimidated by all the shit that's going on. It's in just your- loud as fuck, bro. <laughs> I would not be able to sleep. Plus the ideas, that, because you have a lot of ideas. So imagine you have hell ideas plus Carlos's voice. Yeah, it's a <laughs> lot going on. It's a lot of going. A bunch of them. There's there's a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. See, I think that's why that's why I get into so many different things is because like my mind just wants to do so much at once. Mm. But. Maybe the challenge for me Mm -hmm. is to be able to focus on one thing. Like, uh, you you know, you know how like God will, will give you something you're good at. Yeah. And then since you're good at something, he wants you to focus on the thing you're not. Mm. Do you think that's how it is? Or should you focus on the thing you're already good at? I think. It's a great question, actually. Yeah. No, I think that's for a reason why he doesn't give you, because that's already good. Mm. So why work on it more? You feel me? You can be jack of all trades if you really wanted to. But at the same time, I don't think there's any wrong answer because if you work on this, you can become the best at this. Mm. You feel me? So I don't think there's a right, wrong or right answer. It's like just the path that you choose. Yeah. yeah. So let's say let's say you really, really, really love basketball, mm-hmm. but you weren't good at it. Yeah. Is it your heart and your passion and your spirit that loves it make you want to do it? Mm. You think that's your sign to go ahead and be better at that? If I was good at basketball? No, if you're if you're bad at basketball, but your heart, like your spirit is telling you you love it. So is it a sign for you to go do it? Okay, but you're you're better at something else. Me personally, I'm not doing that. Mm. Just because I'm I'm good at something else, you feel me? So what's yeah. the point? Mm. What would you do? So this is this is a little bit off topic, but it kind of ties in. Yeah. So I read this theory, right? Mm. And the theory pretty much says, what if the universe and the secret to the universe Nobody is supposed to solve it. And what if the moment somebody does solve it, it gets reset and the universe is cleared and reset forever and something more challenging and more questionable and more obscure Mm. is set into motion. So the secret to this life, the moment you find it out, you get reset. It gets reset. That's what I'm saying. So I, I think I said this in the last one. You can look at a lower level. Say you find your purpose in life. You love your life. Boom, that you already, you probably solved the biggest challenge in everyone's life, trying to find some a purpose in life. Mm-hmm. Boom, y- you, uh, God takes you out and he resets you. Maybe he reincarnates you. Maybe he puts you up there to find another purpose. Mm-hmm. Now you're on to the next level. That's, I'm pretty sure this is like level one, if you really bag it. Yeah. Because what's after? Then you have to find something in heaven to do. Maybe you go some some people. Yeah, what if there's, this is not even. Yeah, maybe hell is like negative level. Like you have to try and get out after yeah. you go there. That's crazy to think about, yeah. bro. It's really <laughs> fucking in my head right now. It's like yeah. really making me question shit. But also what popped in my head when you said that is like, what if like the whole, uh, you said some, we have to solve something. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what if like, we don't know what that is, but I feel like uh, everyone, once everyone on this planet, like, comes to what do you call this uh doesn't fight and is all good and it's like it's obvious that finds peace yeah finds peace and it's obvious that the devil isn't on this world no more Mm. that's when god's gonna reset it because god came down already boom shit Mm. resets you know yeah yeah, that would be that i mean that's a damn near impossible you feel me you know what's fucked yeah so i had a i had a night tear Mm. like a couple nights ago and this was so scary bro Mm -hmm. oh you know why it's fucking because because sahar told me this one time why what happened 
So there was this show she watched. I think it's called The Good Place. Yeah. And pretty much in the show, um, it's about heaven and like the afterlife. Okay. But there's this one girl that didn't get sent to hell and she feels like she was supposed to. But she And she's actually in The Good Place. So she's actually in heaven, right? Yeah. But the whole time she's anxious and she's worried. She's like, oh, I'm, am I supposed to be here? I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But she's the, in The Good Place, right? But her ang- anxiety and her feelings and emotions, that's the hell. Whoa. That's actually the hell for her is she's there, but she can't enjoy it because oh. she feels like that. Like she's like not supposed inner. to be there. But she was in heaven. Now oh. check this out. What if you take that same mindset and then put it to this life right now? Like what if this is heaven, but you just don't feel that way because you're not looking at the sides of it? Oh, that's going to fuck me up. That's going to fuck me so up. So I had a night tear the other night, bro. And it was so mm-hmm. scary, bro. So yeah. I woke up and and then, fuck, it's so hard to explain. But mm-hmm. I tried to look at my phone and my phone wasn't turning on. And I felt like everything in the room was frozen. And I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, shit, am I in hell? Like, yeah. is this is this eternity? And for a second in my head, I thought everything was eternity. And it was exactly this what the hell and like nothing would change like it's exactly this and i got scared you know what then that proves to my theory that i will say that this is hell <laughs> it's that true. the world is yeah the world no bro because what because if you bag it right if you really take it in mm. it's on your mindset and that's what i learned from that moment when i had that night terror i started to i started to think where i'm like okay hold on let me break let me slow it down mm. let me not freak out let, let, let's see what's going on here right yeah i'm like okay if it is eternity and this is just what it is, what am I supposed to find out from it? And I started to think, okay, now let's evaluate my feelings. Why do I feel this way? Mm. And maybe there's some lessons in why I feel this way and what I can do about it. Oh. So no, so for the fact that I'm feeling anxious about something, yeah. that means it's important to me that I want to solve it, right? Okay. So me feeling like, oh shit, there's nothing going on and there's nothing for me, that's the lesson to what? To Danger. find out what's going on mm. and go out and find something for you. So you're just going to flip your perspective. Yeah. Okay. No. And, and it's the perspective that really makes it like yeah. either positive or negative. Just Yo. the way you look at things. Yo. Okay. The- theory. Uh, you know uh, the dog in Puss in Boots. Who yeah. is it? Who is it? Perito. Perito. Yeah. You know, you literally just described that. Like he was trying to show us that. When, um, you know, when they had the star map, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what do you call this? When uh, Puss and Boots had it, it was all dark, mm. but then as soon as Perito goes into it and touches it, it the perspective changes, the, changed, yeah, the perspective, and now it's like heaven, mm-hmm. but before it was hell, yeah. So, it's like, yeah, I'm, he was really trying to show us what life is, to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's because I think, for example, look, Puss and Boots, they yeah. were what they were technically they're criminals, yeah, and if they're locked in and on that vibration of criminality and freaking negativity, yeah. dog, of course, everything is around it is going to be on that frequency. Whoa. But Perito, fam, his pure soul, pure energy, per, yeah. pure good, everything's going to be pure good. Yeah, bro. Everything's going to be pure good. Damn. And we don't realize that shit. <laughs> that's so, fucked. Yeah, like this life right now. And that's why I was so scared, fam. It's, it's so like, ah, uh, could, could this be something it's not? Could this really just all be a lesson for us? Fuck, that's so weird, man. Now and then, and then think. If you want to get even more deep with it, mm. think. Okay, every time I shut my eyes, what if every single day is a lesson, a different one? And oh, what if? Okay. And what if I don't feel different ways? And what if the reason things don't change is because I haven't solved that mm. that lesson or that that task? So in life, yeah, that makes sense because in life, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to experience things yeah if you don't experience things there's no lessons that you're gonna learn so you're kind of wasting your life if you're just every day oh go to sleep wake up do the same routine go to sleep what are you learning every day you're not growing or you're not finding what else it it like your true purpose is yeah the people who usually find their true purpose they try whatever the fuck they want to and then from like shooting a uh, hundred targets, they'll find one just because they tried it. Mm. So maybe that is like, just that's the lesson in life. Just go out and live it. Mm-hmm. It's that simple. But people, we have so many things that just make it so complicated. Oh, you have to uh, go to work every day, shit like that. But you never really just live, do you? You yeah. just, I don't know, it's automated. I think, I think even just little setbacks are... <clears throat> 
put there on purpose yeah, too. Yeah, for it's sure. Like, it's like those are the tests, bro. I, yeah, because when you experience it and you fail, yeah. damn, come on. It's those are the real tests. And yeah. like I said before, I said this before, but if if you're playing a game, yeah. you wouldn't want the whole thing to be easy. Oh, like you would want certain things. What if we do manifest challenges in our life, even if we yeah. don't really bag it? Because a life without challenges is kind of yo a life without challenges. Yeah, that's kind of sad, fam. Because yeah. No, cause, because if it's too easy, you're going to feel like, what's the point? No, I remember my friend told me because he's trying to get into stand-up comedy too. Mm -hmm. So he did his first show, went crazy. Like he said, everyone was laughing at his jokes. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh yeah, I just experienced it. I think I'm good now. I said, what? No, you have to go to show and you have to bomb, fam. Yeah, exactly. You, you won't know how crazy your show did compared to the one that you bombed because... You think that's that's okay, but fam, once you fail, you're gonna think you that have to was have sick. the whole experience, yeah, right? You don't know the true experience unless you failed, yeah, you've bro. won, and you've grinded. Like yeah. you need all three levels, bro. Yeah. Because if you just had one one taste of it, just for the same example of even just starting, if you just started something, you don't know how it is to complete something. Yeah. I think I think it's so I'm so grateful that like um our first like live panel thing yeah. wasn't a bunch of people because I get to see, oh, I got to work more now. Like oh, there was a few people in the crowd. Yeah, but I want that shit to be stadium filled. Like I once I'm in a stadium with a bunch of people, I'll know how sick it is because we went through that, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I really like that panel, fam. I think yeah, I want to yeah. do I another. I love it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to do another, bro. You were talking about the fuck, <laughs> and, and you know those ones where it's like, um, you, you, know, you know when... You know you're gonna do a presentation and you mm. you practice on what you're gonna say. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't at all. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone did, fam. Yeah, nobody. Yeah. And I think that's that's the best way to do it is like when you're you just thrown in the water. Yeah. And, and I don't say it was so fucked because of the the order they had us in. Because they put me at the end, so I had to go after Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Carlos has five minute answers, and then uh, he, he, me and Carlos usually think the same, so our answer is gonna be the same. Usually I'm, s and then I had to while he was talking, I'm like, oh fuck, he said what I was gonna say, <laughs> and then I'm like, boom, I have to come up with some new shit. <laughs> but it really tested no, me. No, but there was a point where I'm like, oh, Gavin's gonna explain more on this later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was like, thank God. There's two points I want to make, but Gavin's going to explain on that oh, one more. <laughs> thank God, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, okay, but uh, side note. Yeah. So for most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. So in our high school, we were required to take some French classes. And at the end of the day, all I remember is how to say, can I please go to the washroom? Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family or you just have some free time Babbel teaches you bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world so I'm actually going to take a trip to LA soon and down there a lot of people speak Spanish so using Babbel I can learn a few sentences before I go so Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans but Babbel lessons were created by over a hundred language experts their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective with Babbel you guys can choose from 14 different languages and including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash jumpers. That's babbel.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, for up to 55% off your subscription babble language for life this was crazy a thing that i found out you know how spongebob is hella like positive and we think he's a kid yeah they found his real age how old is he so so this is how they found it so i think in um the new spongebob movie yeah he says uh he go there's a scene where it shows all his employee of the month um what do you call this pictures mm -hmm. and oh and there's hello and he says and he says Oh yeah, I've won the employee of the month for 374 weeks. So yeah. if you do that math, I don't know. I think it comes up to like maybe 30 to 40-ish range. Mm -hmm. And on his driver's license, he said he started his job on his birthday. They yeah. found his driver's license in one of the scenes. He was 13. 
So you add those numbers up. SpongeBob oh, is fuck. actually 44. He's 44? <laughs> Yo. Bro's old and taken he's so positive. People think that he has a teenager. No, fam. That bro, he's old. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. He's probably, so he's the same age as the voice actor. Because the voice actor's old. Oh, for real? Yeah. I don't think he's 44 old. Yeah, fam. The voice actor's 44. <laughs> Search for the voice actor <laughs> okay, right now. Okay. The SpongeBob voice actor is old, bro. If, oh, my God. If you get this, voice actor age he's old look at all of them i'm pretty sure all the spongebob voice actors are old just just look at the images go to images bro you didn't have to search up 60. the age he's 60. that's what i'm saying he's old yeah too. he's old yeah so it bro, matches old. it matches that's kind of crazy because to me spongebob never had like a child voice it low-key mm -hmm. had like a like a lolo voice fam. really no it was a it was like a baby voice to me fam maybe because i knew what knew what no maybe because i knew he was old because mm. i i saw the voice actor before yeah and then it just changes everything really? yo i think that's a problem eh? like when uh, you when when there's a cartoon but you see what they look like off off the cartoon and like in real life it kind of changes the whole perspective word. you know a uh, mordecai from mordecai and rigby or from regular show oh yeah yeah mordecai looks exactly like freaking mordecai in the, in the cartoon <laughs> he dead ass looks like a blue jay bro, Follow the picture, bro. i swear I to god fam i want to see this so you know how he sounds right yeah yeah yo mordecai. rigby you know what i'm talking about look and he actually sounds like um mordecai Kai, voice actor. Check this shit out. Uh -huh. He looks exactly like his character, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that looks exactly that looks like, like you. Is that Skrillex, fam? Nah, relax, chill. No, nah, but he does. He not look like a Blue Jay, fam. Yeah, no, he does. He does. Oh my god, that's, that's so crazy. Perfect. That's so perfect. That's crazy. He looks exactly like a Blue Jay. Maybe, fam. maybe the perfect roles are. When they uh do the voice actors, you gotta match voice, but not only voice. You gotta match thing. The energy, you know, or like you, the you gotta like give a person like personification mm, of that thing. Yo, oh, what do you think about the Rick and the Rick and Morty thing that happened? What happened? So they canceled Rick and Morty. Why? So apparently, um, I forgot the I forgot the creator. Hold on, let me let me search it up. Was it something about sexual? Uh, yeah, you heard about the allegations. Why? So the Rick and Morty creator, his name is. I think Justin Roiland. Mm. Yeah, Justin Roiland. There's some allegations. Yeah. There's some... I think I think it's true. Something happened that was true. Yeah. But they had to cancel the show or at least recast everybody. Oh and he voices... That's like taking... What's his name? Um, the voice of Peter Griffin and Stewie and Brian because mm -hmm. it's the same voice actor for all three characters. Yeah. He's the voice actor for like five characters in in rick and morty too it's something about that the hollywood yeah because obviously you wouldn't want like imagine you're listening to it you don't want a sexual predator in your yeah, ear no. and and he's the he's kind of like the creative mind behind it too like yeah. he not only does he voice it but he also makes the, the plots and he makes like the script <sighs> and that's what's fucked it's like do you have to be on be on, on yeah time, you have to be on that type of timing to to be that creative with shit Ah, fuck, man. Because Loki, if you put, oh, now, now I'm saying, if you Loki put me in a room by myself, intrusive thoughts, I might come out with some crazy shit. That's what I'm saying. To I told honest. you, right? Because I, I didn't look at it in that way. Yeah, like if if you're if you're in a room with nothing, mm -hmm. just straight boredom. Yeah, you'll find something to make fun, bro. Oh, but at the same time, that's so weird. It some is weird. Are, but the thing is, it's only weird because we're so used to one type of regular. Mm -hmm. If all of us were doing something that is weird together. Yeah. Kanye said it the best. Yeah. If I was running down the street in short shorts, sweating, and just running down the highway, you'd be like, what the fuck is he like doing, right? You'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. If I had 500 people behind me, that's a marathon. Oh my God, that's, that's a sick bar angle. Like. It's so true, though. <laughs> it's so true. It's just, it's just if one person does it yeah. and the norm isn't that at the time, then yeah, like what the fuck is this guy doing? But if everybody starts doing it too, who cares? It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. I know. Have we found any recent news about Kanye? Like, where is he gone? Oh, bro, bro. just disappeared. What are your theories on Kanye right now? Put a theory right now. Theory on Kanye? Theory, theory right now. Bro, off himself and just cloned himself because he couldn't take all the all the evil shit down on this world. That's my theory. And I hope that's not true. I hope Ye's still alive. He cloned himself. No, like he cloned himself, off himself. 
it's because he didn't want to deal with this shit no more. I don't know, bro. I think I don't want that to happen though. But I feel like that is not even a crazy take. I think he's just done, bro. Really? I think he might just go monk mode. Monk mode? Like he's somewhere in like Calabasas, just fucking monking it up. I don't know for sure though, because I know he was trying to run for president. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I think I think for him, he can change within a second. Like he he'll, he'll change his goal. He'll change his mindset. He'll change everything within a second. And I think there's some people like that. He's definitely one of those people where like he'll he'll say he's gonna do one thing mm -hmm. and then boom the next day nah he has a whole different goal. I don't know how people do that, bro. Cause if I'm invested in something, it's gonna take years for me to change it because I'm already in hella invested. I don't know. That's crazy because I think I can change my goals. Oh, that's so insane, bro. You guys are low key weird. <laughs> no, like sometimes sometimes uh Yo, some, sometimes I look at my guitar, I'm like, yo, should I just go straight freaking guitar and just like play all day yeah. long and just play it and then just see how, how good I get. And then like the next day I'm like, ah, oh, fuck that. Oh my God. <laughs> see, it's, some, it's something about the mind that some of these people, like the most creatives are low-key fucked up in the head. <laughs> Dude, I'm because, not fucked up. No, but no, obviously, but it's like it, uh, so much shit is moving. Oh, this is off topic, but I want to bring this up. Okay. So we were talking about um, uh, Puss in Boots, right? Mm. Check this out. There's a theory yeah. that Shrek and... Kung Fu Panda are in the same universe. Shrek and Kung Fu Panda. So, huh. hear me out, hear me out, right? Yeah. The theory states that Shrek, it's supposed to be in like the West Hollywood area of the world. Mm -hmm. And then Kung Fu Panda is obviously where? Asia. Now, what if they pull some Avengers type beat, bro? Uh. And then they take every single character from every single universe. Now look at How to Train Your Dragon. They're also DreamWorks, right? Kung Fu Panda's DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon's DreamWorks, and Shrek is DreamWorks. Yeah. How to Train Your Dragon, what part of the world is that? That's Europe. Oh. So now they have, they have Europe, they have <laughs> Asia, and, they have, and then oh. they have America. Now, check it out. They and one. they have the water. <laughs> So who do they have? Shark Tail, bro. Shark Tail, bro. <laughs> Nemo. Wait, is that Dreamworks? Nemo's Disney. <laughs> oh, fuck. My fault, my Nemo's fault. Nemo's Disney. Yeah. But I can imagine they're going to do that shit. And I don't know why they don't do it already. Yeah. They should do that already, No, bro. because it's like the Disney thing. If they have a world, mm -hmm. they can definitely put... Oh, that's crazy. What else is coming out for um, DreamWorks? What is a new one coming out? I don't know. I, I know they have like new stuff they're working on. Yeah. But... The Puss in Boots and like Shrek Universe is the main for sure. Yeah. And ha How to Train Your Dragon and and like Kung Fu Panda, they're like the big ones. Mm. Shark Tale, they haven't really done like other stuff. Cause you know how they have like the, the mini series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have mini series for freaking all of those except for Shark Tale. Yeah, plot twist fam. If they really want a plot twist, they combine all those things and they, you know how those areas go to war with each other. Mm. So you'll have you'll have um Kung Fu Panda plus That's like the Justice League. Yeah, just, Justice League by anime. That that makes sense. That's that's fine. So it's like uh what do you Kung Fu Panda uh Shark Tail mm. versus whoever's on this side of the border. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be crazy. Yo, deadass to this day, mm. Shark Tail is the biggest lesson I've learned from a movie. What? Never trust a stranger? Ah, bro. <laughs> Look, the whole premise of Shark Tail. Mm. <clears throat> He was a young buck yeah. trying to be what? Rich, famous. Yeah. And what did he fall into? He, fall, he fell into lies of becoming the top, becoming, pretending to be who he wanted to be and then getting there, right? Yeah. And it wasn't fulfilling, fulfilling for him. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he went back to his girl, his homie. Mm. And she was the one that really loved him even without the fame, even without anything else. Okay. She loved him for who he is. Yeah. And that's where the true happiness is. It's not with the fancy shit. It's not with the like the bright lights and, and the fame. It's really just who really cares about you, period. And remember the gold digger, Lola? Yeah. That fish was bad, but you know what I mean? Like she wasn't good for him. Now plot twist though, in the ultimate, uh, the ultimate dimension, like a separate ending, yeah. the, the girl who was also uh, that stayed loyal, just fuck the shark at the end of the day. <laughs> fuck Bruce, bro. <laughs> What's his name? Bruce, Bruce. It's not Bruce. Because at the end of the day, you're too- Lenny, it's no, Lenny. Lenny. Oh, Lenny, maybe. But at the end of the day, that's what, if they had a separate ending, that would teach that your five-year relationship is just another man's one-night stand. Oh my God. That would they wouldn't make that in yeah. the kids show. Relax, bro. Kids <laughs> don't listen, twist. man. Oh, I got a crazy plot twist story too. Yeah. So there was a, a Instagram- beauty blogger murder case mm -hmm. but the plot twist is wild fam. What happened, what happened? so listen so this girl named i think uh so this happened in 2022 with a girl named sarah bean mm -hmm. right so one day she's a beauty blogger she does uh just regular videos doing her makeup and stuff mm -hmm. and then one day she told her her parents 
that she was going to go link up with her ex-boyfriend, mm-hmm. right? So the, the day she says that, she doesn't come home, right? So her mom, her dad call the police. Yo, my Sarah Bean is missing. Can you go look? Can you go look for her, right? You, they find her car randomly in an abandoned part of the forest, right? Oh, shit. So Sarah Bean, and you know what they find in the car? What? Supposedly, they find a dead body. Her body? That was stabbed up a bunch of, like her face was stabbed up like 50 times oh, to the point where they couldn't recognize who it was. Damn. So obviously the police and her parents are like, that's Sarah Bean's car. She got murdered, mm. right? Now, this is where it twists because they find the autopsy. That's not Sarah Bean. Oh, so she murdered somebody That's else. That's not Sarah Bean. What they find, they find Sarah Bean and her, and her friend on the loose. They take her in for questioning. Remember I said she does beauty? Yeah. She's a beauty blogger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, her whole plan was to get other beauty bloggers to come to the forest to try out free products. Oh, shit. Everyone else declined except that one girl. And who was that girl in the back of the car? That girl oh, who accepted shit. the invite. Well, why was she trying to murder these and, people? And this is why. So Sarah Bean had a lot of uh, family problems, right? Yeah. And she wanted to fake her own death. So this is crazy. Mm-hmm. She only reached out to beauty bloggers who look like her. Oh, fuck. So she when they actually that. found out and she rearranged her face, you couldn't tell if that was Sarah Bean. So she was trying to disappear. Yeah. Damn. That's fucked, fam. That was one of the craziest Wait, ones I found how, out. How long ago is this? Is it like 2022, recent? yeah. 2022? Yeah, this is recent. Holy shit. Yeah, why that, is this not like on I national know. television, That's bro? why we put it out, you feel <laughs> <laughs> that's why we put it out. A lot of these cases don't get aired, fam. And I feel like that's a it's a good platform to you feel me bring. Yeah. First of all, why are you why are you accepting free beauty products and going into forest? That's the first red flag. <laughs> but but like obviously I don't want to rationalize it. R.I.P. to that person. You feel me? Yeah. Let's no, learn from this and you know. Yeah. There's just so much. There's really crazy characters in the in the internet, and yeah. you just have to realize like they're real. Even though it just sounds fake. Even though it sounds like. This could only be in a movie. This could only be like this. This could only be like nah. Yeah. Some of these, some of these cases, like they're serious things that happen. Mm-hmm. And you can even just go back, not even ten years ago, mm-hmm. not even twenty years ago. Like there's crazy things that happen. Mm-hmm. So as the world progresses, I'm pretty sure it's only gonna get weirder, y'all. Yeah, I know because at that point it's like, oh, people are easily they. Everyone does it with an axe. Everyone does it with a knife. Mm-hmm. What's next, bro? Like come mm-hmm. on, like people are gonna get creative. You ever watch that movie Memento? You ever watch that? Oh, I've heard of it. I've heard about Memento. Yeah, M- Memento. So it's pretty much this guy, mm. and he has short-term memory loss. Okay. So he would tattoo his body everywhere, and then it would have, like, things to go call this number. Yeah. It would say, don't trust this guy. Don't trust him. And pretty much in his mind, he wakes up, and he all he knows in his head that somebody has killed his wife, oh, fuck. and he's after the killer. Mm-hmm. And the tattoos on his body are all clues to find the killer and to remind him because he has short-term memory loss. Mm. Now, what's crazy, bro. So he has this number and he calls it and he's talking to this guy on the phone and he talks to him for hours and hours and hours. And eventually he's like, wait, why am I talking to this guy? Because every like day... Yeah. I think every 12 hours, he just resets. So he forgets everything that's happened the previous day, right? Oh, fuck. So the moments that he actually gets to this guy, uh. he talks to him and he tries to remember, is he the killer or is he my ally? Whoa. Is he the killer or is he my ally, right? Because yeah. he forgets. He doesn't know. Mm-hmm. All he can go is by tattoos and like notes he wrote for himself. Yeah. Now, eventually, he confronts the guy and he thinks in his head, Okay, this must be the killer. Maybe this killer is pretending to be my friend now. Now, what's fucked? The guy confesses to him. Why are you trying to kill me? You know, we already went and killed like 12 other people that you thought was the killer. We've done this whole thing 12 times where we've chased after down. some. we chased down after somebody that wasn't him that you thought was the killer. We killed him. Mm. And every single day, we're after another another person. And then uh, eventually, he killed his friend. So it wasn't actually the killer. It was his friend. Holy shit. Nah, there's got to be... That's got to be based on something true. Because I feel like people with short-term memory loss like that, what if they do become, like, feral? And they go like that, like, boom, sometimes yeah, on a fr- bus, bop. 
But at the end of the day, once you wake up again, mm-hmm. oh, what, what? Why are you arresting me? What did I do? Yeah, because how would you know? How would you know for sure? Plus, if you forget everything, right? Yeah. And you're put on a lie detector test, and some guy says, "Oh, did you kill that person?" You're obviously gonna say no, and it's gonna come out genuine because you don't know. Mm-hmm. So short term memory loss, people, best murderers? Question mark. Yo. Nah, fam. That's yeah. it. It's just scary. Just to imagine, like, knock on wood, but yeah. one of the one of the scariest things is is seeing somebody that loses their memory, like, oh, yeah, with dementia and stuff. And it's sad, bro, because like some of my relatives, like that have it. It's it's almost devastating to think like they're never gonna be able to live that life again where they did remember stuff. Oh no, they, I think um because there was this uh, story where I heard. There was this old man, but whenever he, uh, his, I think his son sang him a song. Yeah. Like, mm, 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 some shit like that. Mm-hmm. He remembered. Mm-hmm. Like, he remembered everything. Oh, and then that for triggered that him moment. to come back. Yeah, for that moment. And then, bro, he started, like, they. I think they got a choir. Yeah. They got a whole choir singing for him. Bro, snap back to life. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, no, it's fake. That's not a true story. That's kind of crazy, though. If that but, was like, true. imagine, imagine that. You just have true. the head, AirPods in every yeah, single day, bro. <laughs> AirPods in 24 7. Just, just 24 that same 7. Song. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, what if? Uh, what if there's a person that got brainwashed and then it's constantly like playing audio in their head? The moment they take out the audio, uh-huh. they lose the brainwash. Now, what if okay. the same thing is true? But it's not music, and it you don't need headphones for it. Mm. What if it's a silent frequency that we don't hear, and we're all just brainwashed right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to get technical? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is, like, there's towers out in the yeah. world that project, like, a signal, like a radio signal, because radios are real. So you're saying that, but if if we all had the same signal, then we, then a lot of people wouldn't be, uh, what do you call this, have amnesia, or whatever that is, that disease. Dementia? Yeah, dementia. Because everyone would be on the same level. So what would trigger it? So you're saying they only specifically got, got hit? Like, if you got hit with that that uh vibration. No, I'm saying everybody. Oh, everyone. I th- I'm saying everybody at the same time. Oh, fuck. Like, what if what if this doesn't even look... What if life doesn't actually look like this? And because of the, the radio signals, uh-huh. it, it brainwashes us to see life like this. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> and then, like, a, a tower goes down. Like, we open yeah, yeah, our eyes. And then, like, glitches, like, go, what the fuck? <laughs> Like the whole thing changes. <laughs> Shit looks just like also you know um uh the SpongeBob boy is like uh cl- oh fuck what what does Squidward say? What is it? He says like um Chrome everything's Chrome. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like imagine the tower goes down oh. imagine no color no color oh fuck. everything's black and white yo oh black and white would be crazy I I would feel like oh shit I'm a dog do you get do you think you, <laughs> do you think you can live black and white <laughs> no no yo I I heard Josh he downloaded an app on his phone yeah. that turns everything on his phone black and white. Why what? though? Why? To combat freaking attention span. So being addicted to your phone. Because oh. if your phone is in black and white, you're not going to pay so much attention to it. I know some um, editor on TikTok who literally, oh, this is a crazy editing play for all you guys who want to keep an uh, attention span. But it's like, it's something called, uh, it's something color mm-hmm. where you don't see it, but your brain sees it. So he'll add these uh dots colors so you'll be enticed to look at your screen but you won't notice oh it's like subliminal yeah that's crazy crazy. that's crazy but when it's when you see the shadows on your face you see red blue and yellow but when you're looking at it when you're looking at it it's just regular colors that's kind of crazy that's insane and that's i don't think that's a good way to like that's not an ethical way to advertise because if you're always doing that fam and you're getting views on shit videos like that, but you're, you're doing that, I wouldn't feel good about it. No, but what if the, that's already the game, bro? Loki, man. This guy just... That's already the game. Maybe, No bro. triple H, bro. Sam, <laughs> play <laughs> the game. Head ass. Oh, by the way, we're headed to WrestleMania. If you guys are going to be out in LA watching WrestleMania, we're going to be at that event. Yes, we got sir. invited. Thank you, WWE, for sending us over there. Yes, sir. Inviting us over there. Um, Let's talk about WWE real quick. Okay, bet. You Is have... A- Who's your favorite wrestler all time? Oh, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is my favorite just because I had his mask, I had the belt, I had the costume. Do you think he's the most iconic? Loki? No. John Cena is the most iconic. But I feel like Rey Mysterio is one of the most iconic just because he had the mask, dog. Because if you think about like Nacho Libre, they yeah. had Rey Mysterio-esque masks. Because mm. when Nacho Libre came out, they're like, oh shit, he has the Rey Mysterio mask. <laughs> yeah. It's not a mirror me. It's just like a luchador mask. It's just a luchador. But at the same time, I was like, I don't know. He kind of put on for Mexicans, bro. Like... 
that was the one. And Filipinos just tagged along, like, yo. Because he looks like yeah, us, bro. He, he looks, looks like, like us. us. Yeah, and he's short too. Yeah. How tall is this guy? Like 5'7? Five 5'7. Seven? Seven. But, yo, I thought, <laughs> this was so stupid. But I think um, during the time I was a kid, right? And mm -hmm. I thought. Bautista was Rey Mysterio's dad. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Because they were always together. I think they were tag team oh, partners. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they had, like, tag team. In my mind, my kid mind, I was like, oh, that's that's his dad. Mm. <laughs> and I think he looks Samoan, and they kind of look the same skin. You know Batista's Filipino, right? Yeah, Batista's Filipino. You know he has, like, Illuminati tats? Did you know that? No, I didn't. What? So his chest is, like, the Illuminati eye no. with the Philippine flag, bro. What the You fuck? know the Filipino son? Yeah. I'll show you right now. Check this out. It's crazy. I don't know why he. Yeah. It's mixed with the Philippine flag. Look, Illum. That's weird stuff. Naughty. Look, check this out. Check this out. Boom. Where is he? It's the all-seeing oh, eye and the and, and the, the Philippine sun. sun. Now what's crazy too? Yeah. Um, there's these charms in the Philippines. I always bring this up, but I always forget the name. Mm -hmm. But my cousin had it, and on one of them, remember these are made in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Handmade. One of them had like the all seeing eye, like Illuminati eye. Yeah. And another one had like Jesus. Another one had like all these other things. Yeah. Why the Illuminati eye? I don't know. Because these, these are coming from locals. These are coming from like, yeah. you know what I mean? The, the natives in the Philippines. But why the Illuminati eye? Do you think it has evil intent behind it or is it just I don't like know. What a, if it's just an actual a thing? Symbol, yeah. yeah. What if it's an actual symbol? They, we talk about how there's a lot of Freemasons that are Filipino. So probably it's just like a big cult to them. But I don't know if it's evil or not. Interesting, bro. Yeah. There's a toy in the Philippines. You know that one is like, um. there's a street vendor and he's just sitting and there's a puppet bouncing up and down. What? Do you know that? And it's supposedly the guy is supposed to be uh, doing it something secretly and he's supposed to be bouncing it with a string. Right? Oh. You know those ones? And it's also in Mexico too. I know a lot of you Mexicans. It's like a walking puppet by yeah, itself. Yeah, walking puppet. Yeah. So mm. there was a video where they deadass thought they, the, there was no line because the guy went away from it. Oh, the shit. Puppet, and he's just walking by the itself. The puppet kept bouncing. And he was, like, doing a little dance. <laughs> he's and getting every, sturdy. And everyone, everyone was wondering, what is this toy? Like, is this a, a paranormal toy? And yeah. he was selling this. And he was like, oh, you want this one? Here, it comes with a string. Mine, no string. Yo. It's fucked. It's fucked. Yo. Now, nah, the Philippines, bro, you don't know because that shit could just, just be haunted straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could <laughs> just be just haunted straight up there. Like, what, yo, what kind of magic is it? What's what's yeah, a magic bro. trick? Not that it's just haunted. Yeah. <laughs> like when I went to the fam, when I went to the Philippines, there was this really like long hallway, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my house was here, and we had to go to that our cousin's house, and we had to pass this walkway, bro. Mm -hmm. And my my friend was carrying a BB gun. Yeah. I'm like, yo, why are you carrying that for? Thank God he was carrying that for because four rabbit just random rabbit dogs yeah, yeah came yeah. up to us and i'm like oh nah this is crazy mm. and like the, the he was it's like pokemon yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, shit, like i just walked into grass up. <laughs> It popped up. <laughs> Real shit though. Because it came out of like the side. And then, and then the battle went. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then I wanted them. The guy. <laughs> Fam, he was backing him up with a stick. I was like, yo, don't shoot it, please. Do you think you could take a dog? I look I could low-key take a dog. Yeah, bro. with a BB gun. <laughs> no, do you think you could fight like a rabbit dog by yourself? Oh nah, nah. I feel like I could take a dog. Nah. My dad was getting chased by... He told me a story where he was cha getting chased by a bunch of dogs and his leg got bit. Oh, But you can't, you can't outrun a dog, fam. Like, you can't outrun a dog, but I feel like you could take one, bro. No, no. I, I feel like I could take a dog, man. A dog? Like front kick to the face? <laughs> Not just knees, bro. Because it's going to jump at you like this. <laughs> Straight up knee, bro. Hoots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you fight the Muay Thai guy, that <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually need. Yeah. All right, <laughs> nah, yeah, somebody's, mean, gonna, somebody's gonna take that out of contact. I I need a dog before, <laughs> but a dog that was attacking me. Or okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah I didn't right. just need a dog, but I need a dog that was attacking. Me. Or. <laughs> <laughs> no, fighting Muay Thai guys be so annoying, bro, because they just stand there and take the hits. Like it's like it's like they have a never-ending health bar. So so you'll come in. <laughs> Low key, that's the best way to fight. No, listen. No, no. No, hear me out. Hear me out. SpongeBob. Oh no, is the hardest person to kill in fiction. What you mean? No, it isn't. There's probably another one. Check this out. Why? Remember that episode of SpongeBob where he fought the bully? Mm -hmm. Every single hit the bully landed on him. What happened? Oh, <laughs> SpongeBob is fucking invincible, bro. <laughs> oh, no, no, deadass. Listen, mm. 
Now, what happened? He was fighting him for years, for hours, <laughs> right? And he got tired, and eventually the guy collapsed. Mm. So what if the best defense in the world, the best way to fight is the best defense that just makes your opponent tired? Nah, but you, okay. Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer in the world. What is he known as? The best defense. Defense. Yeah. The best defense is to not get hit. And in your say, but we're not SpongeBob. No, I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> so saying. For example, you know, with the defense in general, yeah, defense, defense in general, because yeah. he's fighting, but he's just getting tired. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say that because yeah, the best defense is to not get hit. Not even just get hit, but like defense in general, though. To take to take hits. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Because bro, fam, if I was fighting somebody and then mm -hmm. every single punch, my hardest punch doesn't do shit to them. Yeah. Eventually, I'm just gonna give up. Facts. Okay, I'm gonna predict it right now. Gervonta Davis knocks out Ryan Garcia. Let's go. I really want to say that too. But uh, where are they fighting? Uh, Madison. No, no, not Madison. I don't know. Some uh, maybe Las Vegas, probably most mm. likely. Because remember we were talking about the the numerology shit. Mm. Now uh. check this out. I forgot what fight it was, uh -huh. but it was going by numerology that somebody else would win. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, they fought in Australia. Oh. And since they fought in Australia, what happens to the day? They're a day behind. Oh. We're like twelve okay. hours behind, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. But yo. They're technically behind. Oh fuck, that's crazy. No, I have to. I I didn't research it, but um, the Japanese just were won the world championship for baseball because the KFC guy. But yeah, I was just <laughs> gonna say they probably restored the KFC guy, and it was probably Japan's year to win because of mm. numer numerology. Probably. Yeah, you never know, man. I heard something that's like um, numerology <laughs> is is literally just the cheat codes of life. Yeah, and. Um, fucking astrology is like the lessons. Mm -hmm. It's like the lessons and the numerology is like the cheat codes. Yeah, and the feet thing is just extra. Yeah, it's just like extra, fam. <laughs> but you know what's funny too? Just before we end it, there was a celebration going around in Japan. Mm -hmm. So whenever they hit a home run or it was uh, developed by a Japanese player, they go like this. It's called, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's called the salt and pepper celebration. <laughs> and there was kids <laughs> salt on the, and pepper. So there was kids on the news where they pan to the kids and all the kids are going... <laughs> They don't know though. You know what though? Theory, that's the agenda. That's pushing the agenda. The Aiden Ross, the speed agenda of being fruity. Just have crazy No, but it it takes it away. It takes the power away. Because oh, if, if we start doing something and then we put like a new meaning onto it and then that becomes more popular, then the other meaning doesn't matter anymore. Low key, low key. Right? Yeah. Like when you say goat, you don't even think of the animal anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. What do you think about? I think about like a great, like a person. Oh, like a goat? Yeah. Right, when you when you say it in your head, what's the first thing that pops up? <laughs> I thought about Polo G. <laughs> See, exactly, like a person. Yeah, just because, uh, what do you call this? He has the goat album or the goat necklace. Yeah, but I don't even think about the animal. Or, yeah. That's, that's, that's a pit bull, the pit yeah. bull effect. Oh my you don't God. even think about the dog. If I say pit bull right now, you thought of the rapper yeah, fan. Yeah, low key. If you think about Carlos, you probably think about his braces or some shit like that. <laughs> or no, his hair, for sure. For sure. <laughs> brace. Yo, theory right now, uh, I get my braces off. I'll be a different person. Oh yeah, you're you're no. I think your shape would look crazy. Like I'm um, would look new, but at the same time, uh, a handsome scooter. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine. No, you know, you know the one episode where SpongeBob turned round. <laughs> oh yeah, <That's... laughs> no, I think we end it there, bro. That's jokes. All right. That's jokes. Thank you for watching this episode of Jumper Zone Podcast. Make sure That's you comment, right. like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you watch my other channel. Link in the description below. Follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Make sure to subscribe. Right now we're four hundred away. We should probably hit this before we're fucking. You know the next episode. This episode comes out. Make sure to listen on Spotify, Apple. We love you guys, man. Thank you so much for a million subs. I know we're gonna yes, hit sir. it by then. So thank you so much, guys. Mm -hmm. It's because of you. All of this happens because of you. I love to do this. Thank yes, you sir. so much. Jump, jump out. Deuces.